Today we're going to do something kind of cool. It's the first time I'm doing this gift opening type of episode. Um, and this is a beautiful system. Well, I think it's beautiful because I've looked on the website. Um, it's called Sprouts IO, and it's basically a super high-tech hydroponic system, which means that it's a soilless growing method. My producer and editor, Rose, has actually been using a very simplified version of hydroponics called the Cracky method at her home to a lot of success. This is just taking it up like a zillion notches from that because it includes this lamp that you know lights the plants. It, is connected to an app so it lets you know about when you need to add more water and it, you can even adjust the settings of light water and nutrients to change the actual flavor of your food so I think that sounds pretty cool and I'm a bit of a naysayer when it comes to these like high-tech growing methods because I'm so you know educated and actually growing in earth and I'm pretty old-fashioned in that way however this has kind of caught my attention and it seems like it's something pretty cool so let's check it out We need to get a cord to plug this in. Whoa! Amazing. We will need the following to begin the setup process. Wi-Fi network name and password, two gallons of tap water, iOS mobile device, access to electrical outlet, check. Okay, so we place it there and we plug it in. Then we download the Sprouts IO Grow app from the App Store on our mobile device. All right, I've got my app. It's loading. It's looking very much like the system. And we see here that we have a seed tray that came with this. And the seed tray has Genevieve's basil. Um, which is cool because I've been wanting basil for all of my tomato plants that I've been growing. Um, and you can see that there's these little circles and there's sort of like a like a felt fabric inside of them and then there's seeds placed in each one. And then there's some nutrients in here which I assume you put into the center of this thing using Facebook to sign in. Can they send me notifications? I would venture to say yes, you should allow that. Okay, to start, plug in your Sprouts I.O. and turn it on using the switch on the back of your base. Did that. Next, you'll scan the barcode located on the back of the Sprouts I.O. instruction booklet. Aha, there it is. Okay. All right, my scan was successful. That was quick. My Sprouts I.O. needs a name. What would you like to call it? Betty. <laughs> because I'm obsessed with that name right now. And it's not because of Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively. I was a fan of Betty before that, because of Mad Men. <laughs> Please click complete to sync with our cloud server. Sync. Device added successfully. The lights are blinking red, white, and blue. So I guess Betty's American. Remove the basin from the base and set aside. Cycle power on the Sprouts I.O. device using the power switch on the back of the base. The notification light should pulse blue, then change color. What color is the notification light? 
The choices are turned off, turned purple, pulsing blue, and flashing yellow. We have none of those. All right, we got this thing connected to the internet, which was really tricky. There was like all these things we had to switch the power on and off and look at the color of the lights and click it. And it was very complicated. We ended up needing this barcode. Um, so definitely don't lose this tiny piece of paper because that would have been bad. Um, and finally, we are rocking and rolling and Betty is online. Please activate your membership to initiate growing on this device. Sprouts.io requires monthly membership per device. Membership includes access to unlimited SIOs and allows you to grow continuously so that you always have fresh produce on hand. Each SIO is made custom for you to ensure freshness and quality. Well, we enrolled in the monthly subscription, which provides us with every month with one of these. I think just one. So that was $29. Click on it. Here's some basil. It, has a video, I don't even know, I can click on that. It tells me the scientific name, it tells me the origin in Italy, it's organic, non-GMO, um, total growth cycle, 60 days, that's important. I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like in here a little bit more. I just need to fill this, I think. So, I'm just gonna do that. I don't see any instructions about this part. There's not one consistent source of information about the setup. The app had a lot of good information about like the tech part of it, but then once I finished that, it kind of just ended. And I'm wondering, you know, what do I do now? Also, there's like this plastic thing. And is that the germination cover? Because that was mentioned briefly. I don't know. I just don't know. So these are questions I have. When we were trying to place our Sprouts IO in the kitchen, we realized that we didn't have anywhere good to put it just because of the overhead size and the cabinets and then also an outlet. So we went through a few options and it's in the bathroom now, but it's a really nice bathroom and it's the guest bathroom and no one hardly ever uses it. So um, I brought it in here and then once I brought it in here, I went back to the app to make sure that it was still connected to the Wi-Fi, and it said on the home page plant your SIO, which is again that seed tray. And it started walking me through some steps, which were very detailed. I don't know why that didn't come up before, but now it did. And so what it's telling me to do is to remove the germination cover. Um, and before I place the seed packet in, I was supposed to fill this only partially. And the reason is because once I put that in, they want me to fill it the rest of the way. Um, by pouring the water over the top, which I kind of thought, yeah, that makes sense because seeds need to be directly wet to germinate and I just didn't feel like they were getting wet when all the mist was coming from up, from below. So um, <laughs> this has restored my faith a little bit. Um, I've taken some water out of this. I've got some more water to pour over it, which I'm gonna do now. Place the germination cover over the SIO. Next. Next, you'll scan the barcode on top of the germination cover with your phone camera. Scan successful. Sprouts IO will now begin the first watering cycle for the SIO starting germination. The water watering cycle will last one hour during which the lamp will emit blue light. Okay. Congratulations, you're growing. Keep track of your progress in the app. And then now it has this cool screen that um, says Betty, Genevieve's basil, 28 seconds growing, 38 seconds growing. And it has a whole circle showing the different phases. Watering, germination, uncover, that was an important one, seedling, micros, petite, and mature. It also is sensing the conditions. It says light sensed 47%, and it's giving out 35% of red light, 22% blue light, 20% green light. The Wi-Fi signal is great. The room temp is 81. It is pretty hot. It's now day two of the growing cycle, um, according to my app, and I have a couple updates. Um, my app notified me to check if my seeds have germinated. And if so, I should remove the germination cover, which I did. Um, 
I said yes they've germinated but I didn't confirm that I had removed the cover right away and so this light actually started blinking which alerted me that oh yeah I have to remember to do that so they've got a lot of their bases covered another update <laughs> I decided to do a little experiment here um, I've been wanting to grow my cannabis clones this year but because of quarantine everyone has been buying them <laughs> and they've been really hard to get my hands on um, but I did get three little guys here this is a sativa called rosé and I have two of them Right, this is called Venom OG. That's what it is. So I think I'm going to leave one of the rosés actually right here. And I might, um, you know, try to do some kind of situation that's like a rigged up hydroponic situation. The goal being to find out if the Sprouts IO system can be usable for cannabis, which I have a feeling it will. Something you might not know about cannabis is that it buds out according to the length of the days in the season um, and the buds are the part that everyone wants that's the flower that's what everyone smokes um, or makes their products out of etc the problem with planting cannabis clones or plants or seeds or anything this late in the year at this point it's august is that the days are already shortening and that is exactly what triggers this plant to produce its buds and if it produces buds right now i might get like you know, less than a gram. It's not very much, it's a tiny harvest. What we wanna do is have these plants grow bigger first before they produce their buds. And we can do that by controlling the amount of light that they get per day, which is exactly what this system should be capable of. So it's a little experiment. <laughs> I'm sure that the settings can be changed in this as well in order to maximize that benefit, but this is literally just the first experiment and we will see how it goes. So there you have it, beautiful, sprouted, germinated, little green leaves even on here, on this basil after two days. Amazing. <laughs> so far, so good, Sprouts.io.